Africa.com presents The Thought Leaders in association with the Harvard Business School Africa Business Conference. Technology in Africa With a population of more than 1 billion people, there are reportedly close to 700 million cellular connections across Africa. That's more than 10% of the global figure. According to research company Wireless Intelligence, Northern Africa has a 100% mobile phone penetration rate, Southern Africa 131%. This increased access has allowed the development of applications that has improved the lives of Africans. You might have heard of M-Pesa, Kenya's mobile money service that has changed the way money is transferred, but there are many others like Ghana's mobile midwife app that reminds an expectant mother about her clinic appointments and notifies her nurse if she doesn't show up. Or Tanzania's Tigo Kilimo program that informs farmers about weather conditions to help manage their crops. These tools are also helping to improve the way professionals on the continent do business. That also plus just access to information, the quality of decision making, the awareness of what is the context within which I'm, I'm making decisions has to be improving a multitude of times. So the efficiency of the decisions that I make, the cost effectiveness of the decisions that I make both in terms of time and money must go up a magnitude. It's also affecting decisions by ordinary citizens who now have increasingly efficient tools to hold elected officials accountable. So people are connected, they're using technology to find jobs, to get information. So it means that voters are now connected to politicians and they, they're aware of what's happening with their tax money. They're aware of what their politicians are doing and they can force things to happen. Whereas in the past, the information just didn't exist and the politicians could control everything. It's, it's very, very important that African uh, government and African private sector uh, try and use as much as possible this new tool uh, and you know the, the, the power of internet what uh, it could it has, it has done in certain countries which have gone through a uh, revolution uh, from the youth. It's essentially because of that access. That access is also reaping great rewards for entrepreneurs. According to Dahlberg's recent report on the impact of the internet in Africa, more than 80% of small-medium enterprise owners expect that the internet will help them grow their business and 70% of those expect to hire new employees as a result. Internet for us Africans, I think, is just an amazing opportunity to be able to um, put our message out there and make it reach the largest number of people. And for Iswara, it's just been a phenomenal, phenomenal medium just to tell our story and to reach beyond borders and also really um, get supporters, advocates, fans, uh, and also feedback from, from all over. So it's, it's, been, it's been something really critical. Uh, we've uh, had this month a head of digital business, which has just started at Tiswara, just to show you uh, the importance of internet. We, we do have a person and we're building a team just dedicated to that, to ensure that we optimize our online shipment, but also that we optimize the experience of our customers when they're buying online. Here's a sneak peek of our next Thought Leaders installment, Doing Business in Africa. We take a look at the opportunities and challenges foreign companies face doing business on the continent and share what industry experts have to say about Africa's relationship with China. The best uh, paraphrase or the best image I can give is, is to someone who is, doesn't recognize how beautiful his wife is until somebody else wants to take his wife. So that's the role that China is playing in Africa. Uh, the fact that they have been interested in our continent has now helped our old friends to now look at Africa in a different way again. Sign up for our newsletter, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Africa.com. Carefully selected news, travel, information and lifestyle.